Hi guys, this is Mansi Singh from Reader Sim Creators. As per the rules, I am posting my video on Saturday, but from now on, I will post only on Wednesday. 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 Okay, we always uh, do that Wednesday and Wednesday, but it's Wednesday. Well, because um, I have to run my bookstagram account, I have to write, I have to create the content, I have to edit the video. It's too much, and you can understand that. I know. So in this video, we will talk about ten books of which I am thankful of because because of its content, because of the way author write it and how it changed me why i am thankful to it i will keep it a quick one without deep explanation just giving you the brief and solid points why i am thankful of that video how it changed me so let's start first one is why i am a hindu by shashi tharu okay currently in when in our country the religion mudda is on hype and everyone is presenting their own opinion about that either people having lot of knowledge and even people just write out of uh, fourth or fifth class so ha reading this book uh, gave me solid knowledge and uh, replaced my opinion with better ones and gave me new opinions too so i am thankful to shashi tharoor for writing this book because this book is a treasure chest which you open and gain lot of knowledge second is becoming by michelle obama okay michelle obama truly an inspiration and this woman is ideal for many girls i can bet you that but this particular book becoming okay i included this book in top 10 inspirational books for women and uh, i eagerly waited for the release of this book and so many things i love this book she changed me as a girl as a woman she changed my perspective towards certain thing towards marriage towards pa uh, career passion and profession so i learned a lot and i am thankful to michelle obama for writing this book because i am damn sure this book is reason for change in many girls hearts next is a fine balance by rohinta misthi now this book is not like some uh, fascinating thing this is a painful brutal story of our society but it's honest it's uh, brutal and it will tell you the reality of societies the reality of uh, being a owner and being with a servant and uh, high caste and low caste so i just love this book it was so painful the ending was painful and it broke my heart i had to take a two day break before starting second book but still i am thankful for this book because this just gave me sense of th something taught me something told me about the realities of it's a fiction but the facts presented in this fictional story are true and when you will read this you will totally get it and it is perfect for a indian caste system indian differences so just read it and i'm thankful for this book next is the inheritance of loss by kiran desai as the name suggests this book will teach you the meaning of loss in your life not like some toy or your favorite book or your favorite something it will teach you the loss of your loved ones and how you come out of it and keep on living your life and about kashmir about terrorism about that terror about that fear in people we it's easy to sit here and talk about that i can do that you can do that we can put a status we can write articles but people who are living that life it's so 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 painful and this book is really a gem the writing style is too good and i'm thankful to kiran desai for writing this book and i'm thankful to one of my friend who gifted me on my birthday two or three years back next is tuesdays with mori by mitch album okay this book i think currently is favorite of many fellow readers and because it will teach you the meaning of living and the liberty of time this book is like some quotes totally put into a book and it's so 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 great so um you know enhancing so it will just change you inner and outer it will just change you as a person this book is so great and it's a non fiction that's the thing which matters the most is the non fiction a practical example from the author's life and this book is so great the meaning of death will 
get clear in front of your eyes and you will just enjoy it you enjoy learning the meaning of that and it's so great just read it i'm thankful to mitch album for writing this next is jane eyre by charlotte brown now a classic literature i love classics and this book jane eyre oh my god about it can um, fall in right into the category of women empowerment this book changed me as a girl it taught me self respect comes first integrity comes first elegance comes first all before the love for a boy or a man so this is so great i am thankful to charlotte brown for writing this and uh, just read it because it's a classic literature you will learn a lot of new words and the writing style is so great next is the 40 rules of love by elif shafak elif shafak's writing is a uh, uh so 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 i can't find another word than great so elshak's writing is so deep and great and this book will teach you a lot about sufism and i'm thankful for this book because i learned a lot about sufi culture about islam and yeah just read it next is the palace of illusions by chitra manarji the fictional perspective of mahabharat the whole mahabharat from the point of view of draupadi panchali just assume how great this can be and the way chitra banerjee wrote it it will touch the deepest nerve of your heart and you will just love panchali she is aggressive and rageful and she took decisions which create a history but as a woman you will just love her and this book is so great i am thankful for the author to write it Next is A Man Called Ove by Frederick Backman. Ove, the grumpiest character I have ever read till now, and he will teach you to be grumpy, to be like, oh, you human, you bad human, you are doing this, you are bad, and he always have problem with people, and still he does all the sweetest thing in the world, and um, till the end of book you will fall in love with this person. and he will make you cry i'm betting you he will make you cry and uh, people who have the power of making you cry of course they have a special place in your heart you know that i'm thankful to fredrick beckman for writing this story and uh, just read it there's a cat also all the cat lovers out there just read it last is a little book of life by ruskin bond This is not particularly a book, as I told in my first video. This is a collection of all the quotes and wisdom thoughts Ruskin Bond liked from all the books he read. So it's like a um, little pocket book you can keep aside, and any time you are feeling dark or depressed or sorrowful or doleful, anything, just pick it up and read some random quote and. like this one happiness a charity bowed down by the knights heavy rain suddenly writes itself flinging pellets of water in my face just read any random quote and you will feel a uh, lighter you will try to come out of that darkness so this is a book of wisdom and um, yeah that's it all the 10 books are covered and i told you i will keep it brief but i think i have made it almost the size of my videos so Well, um, happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas. I was just too early because I'm gonna post more videos. Okay, sorry. I will wish later, but you can take the this wish too. Well, I'm blabbering. Okay, till then, keep reading. Be happy. Bye bye.